I've been making clothes for a long time. I think it started with tearing up clothes and putting them back together. But at a certain point, I decided to make myself a pair of jeans, and I felt like I could do it better. So I did another pair, and then another. Just kept going on and on like that. You don't see custom jeans being made too often in America. That's sort of a difficult thing to do. It's a very specific thing to do. Every single pair of jeans that I make is different from the last pair of jeans. Fit makes a garment. It doesn't matter what period of time it's from, what fabric it's made out of, what color it is. If it fits on a person, it's going to look great. Do you want a chain stitch hem or a single needle stitch hem? I like the chain stitch. Gotcha. So the denim I picked, it's a 12 ounce selvage. It has texture to it, a little more irregular, which I think is really dope. It's called nep. Nep. It's got nep. So it's neppy denim. I felt like this was sort of the most unique option, and for doing custom jeans, why not do something a little more special? I think this will look great with this fabric. I'm gonna go with this sort of gray shade. I went with the heavier pocket bag, just basically for the, the hand-dyed effect. And plus, Ryan made these himself, which I think is pretty cool. So you went with sort of a vintage motif here. Yeah. What we've selected are all from Cone Mills, White Oak, and they're all pre-shrunk selvage denims. The idea of making something fit somebody from a sample and then creating it from scratch wouldn't really work with a shrink-to-fit fabric because you're gonna wash it and then it's gonna change the proportion and then what was the point of having a custom fitting in the first place? Hand tweaking every single pattern, you know, we're able to get something that fits them very well. I can keep those patterns on file and then that customer knows that they can walk in the door at any point and they know that they can find a pair of jeans that fits them. Noah chose to have a felled inseam, which is something that uh, he would be the first in line to have that. So the only stitch showing is a indigo stitch. Approaching a pair of jeans or any garment from a tailor's aspect, you really want the inside to be as beautiful as the outside. What has become one of my favorite processes now is personalizing the jeans. Each pair of made-to-order jeans is additioned, and then it goes with a bag that is custom-made and is also additioned. Nowadays, most denim is outsourced to large factories, mostly overseas, and you've got a bunch of people who all sit in front of a sewing machine and there's one function that they do. It's one stitch all day long. I think what makes this program really special is the fact that making a pair of jeans is approached from a tailoring aspect and not a manufacturing aspect. One of the most fulfilling things for me is starting a pair of jeans and seeing it all the way to the end. Uh, there's a sense of completion there and there's a sense of satisfaction in that. I am formally trained as a tailor. Every little stitch counts. The entire process is intricate. Something's additioned, date on it, that's a piece of Levi's history.